So, um, before we get started in the video, you guys want to get hooked up with Helium Mobile and get one month free when you sign up, use my promo code, which will appear right here, and also you'll find it in the description. All right, y'all. So I'm getting ready to flash a custom ROM on my Google Pixel 4a. I'm going to be bringing this device up to Android 14. So prerequisites. First of all, you're going to want to make sure that you have OEM unlock enabled. This is being able to unlock the bootloader. If this is grayed out and you cannot select this, it means your bootloader is locked. So there's no way to do this, but uh, mine's turned on and then you want USB debugging on. And then you're going to connect it to your computer and we're going to unlock the bootloader right now. So now that we have it connected uh, to a USB cable to the computer, um, what you want to go ahead and do is uh, open up a command prompt. So we'll get that open right now. You see right there, open PowerShell. And so it will show that. Now we're in platform tools. So then the command prompt that you're going to like type in, uh, for mine, I have to put um, dot and then forward slash or backslash. ADB then devices and you see my ADB device serial number right there. So we're going to unlock the uh, bootloader right now. So once you've established that, you know, your device is connected by ADB, uh, you're going to want to type in ADB reboot bootloader and it should get you into the bootloader. So now to make sure that we have a pretty good connection, um, we're just going to do a test again. We're, this time, instead of ADB, we're going to type fastboot. And then space devices. And there you see that uh, it reads a serial number. So now we're going to do fastboot um, unlock. Well, fastboot flash unlock. So now that's our next command, fastboot flashing unlock. And here on your device, you should see where it says, do not unlock bootloader. And you use the volume toggles to switch it to unlock bootloader. Know that when you select this, it is going to wipe your phone. So before doing anything else, make sure you have a backup. Now that you've unlocked the bootloader, you're going to want to reboot the device because you're going to have to go back into Android settings. You're going to have to get into developer options and then re-toggle on OEM unlock. Well, not OEM unlock, but USB debugging. Um, so you would have to go through, just skip the initial setup. Don't go through setting up your Google account because you're going to flash a custom ROM. So there's no reason to set up a Google account. Just bypass all of it, get back into um, developer options and enable USB debugging so you can reconnect it to your computer and get back into Fastboot where we're going to install the uh, the boot image for custom recovery to flash the custom ROM. So let's go. So at this point right now, I'm just literally skipping um, the entire setup because I need to get back into uh, About Phone. Turn it back on developer options. As you guys can see, it's on Android 13. For those that want to know android 13 anyways we'll go in the system developer options and we're going to turn back on usb debugging and you guys should see oem unlocking is grayed out and toggled on because the bootloader is unlocked so now we're going to connect it back to the pc and then uh, begin flashing everything on here and so now we just did a check. We did ADB devices and it shows the serial number. Um, I like to leave the last commands there so I can see everything that I've done. So now we're going to go ahead and follow the steps that's laid out on, um, on the website from XDA. So we're going to reboot into the bootloader and then we're going to fast boot flash that command and then reboot to recovery factory reset format and factory reset the phone and then flash the ROM. Let's go. All right, so after getting back into Fastboot, we double check to make sure that Fastboot is connected to the Pixel 4a. That's our first command right there, Fastboot flash boot, boot.image. And yeah, you're, you're always gonna retype things just because um, you wanna put where it's being flashed and then the, the file that's being flashed. So it's being done. 
Looks like we're done there. So now it's time to reboot into recovery, which is our next step. So we'll do that right now. All you really gotta do over here is use the volume rockers where it says start. And then what we're gonna do is choose recovery mode. Once you see recovery mode, hit the power button. And it should boot into recovery. There we go, we have recovery. So the next step is to format data factory reset. So we're gonna do that right now on the device. So we'll go down. All right, so just do factory reset, format data. And yep, we don't gotta worry because our phone was already white from unlocking the bootloader. So we'll let it do its thing. This is data white complete. We'll go back. And what I like to do is just go into advanced and then uh, reboot to recovery. So now that we're back in recovery, we're gonna choose apply update, apply update from ADB. And then you just leave it right here because now the next step is back on a computer. So we're gonna make sure that ADB is connected so, uh, and we see that it is there and it says side load. Okay. So now it's time to flash the ROM. So we're going to type here is ADB side load. Now I renamed the ROM file. The ROM the the file name was pretty long, so I just renamed it to p4a.zip. Okay, the first two attempts failed only because uh I actually named the the ROM name p4a.zip, so it would have read out p4a.zip.zip. So I just renamed the file to p4a, which is a zip, you know, the file is a zip file. Um, after typing in the ADB command, uh, sideload p4a.zip, now it's flashing. So you'll see it here. It's going to give you a progression of how much of the ROM is flashed, and your device should look like that. Kind of hard. Like my phone is like trying to really focus here. But you just let that run. Now, don't be alarmed if it stops at 40, I think it's 48%. Um, it the full ROM is flashed at 48%. Anything additional like G apps you don't need to install because it's already in this ROM. But anyways, um yeah, just let it do its thing. So as you guys see, it stopped at like 47%. It says uh signature uh security failed because it's not assigned uh it's not assigned from Google, but we're gonna go ahead and Install anyways and hit yes. And now that's done. It says installation complete. Um, now the moment of truth. Let's reboot to system. Reboot to system now. All right, so here's the moment of truth. We shall see. But... You know, if you follow the like the steps, you should have no problem at all whatsoever. All right, so we have everything set up. And we should be good to go here. Took me a minute to get everything set up. But um, as you guys see, everything is pretty much working. We do have uh, the Evolver for customizing the user interface for the custom ROM. So everything seems to be in order. So stay tuned for an updated video on the Pixel 4a running Android 14. Leave a comment, smash the like button, appreciate it. Uh, you guys can ask your questions. I'll take a look at them later and uh, answer them in the next video.